In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace all four spark plugs on your Honda Pacific Coast. Let's round up the tools we'll need. First and foremost is the spark plug wrench that came with your Honda toolkit. Next, you'll need a tube of dielectric grease. Also, get some anti-seize lubricant. Both of these are going to be smeared on the spark plugs. You're going to need four of them. I bought NGK, which is what my mechanic sold me, and the part number is on the end of the box here. You're also going to need a can of compressed air. Here I'm using Dust Destroyer. All right, let's get started. First off, you're going to remove the side vent. Pull straight out away from the engine, and it'll pop right out. Next, you'll see a Phillips head screw. Remove that. Once the screw is out, you'll need to pull up and back to remove the plastic tabs. Then the side cover just pops off. There are three bosses and three rubber grommets. The grommets are located here, here, and here. Once you've put the plastic aside so you don't step on it, go to the other side of your bike and do the same thing. Remove the air vent. There's a Phillips screw on top, you'll remove that. Pull the plastic tabs out, and then pop the three bosses from the three rubber grommets like the other side. That's a clean bike. Now that we've got the plastic out of the way, let's find the four spark plugs. The first one on the right hand side is above the exhaust pipe. Second one is behind that, under the fiberglass shroud. Here's the spark plug location on the left side. It's a little bit easier to find them than the right side. Now that we've gathered our tools, removed the plastic, and found our spark plugs, let's take them out. Removal of the spark plug wire shouldn't be too difficult if dielectric grease was used the previous time. Before we remove the spark plug itself, we're going to blow out any dust and debris that might have collected around it. Get out your can of Dust Destroyer and use a few quick bursts of air to remove any debris. Take your spark plug wrench from your tool kit and gradually ease it down in until it fits over top of the spark plug. Now you're going to need something to turn. You can use a pair of pliers. I use the 10 millimeter wrench, open-ended wrench from the tool kit. Once you get it started with the open-ended wrench, you can actually turn it with your fingers. And there it is. Check the condition on your used spark plugs. It'll tell you a lot about how your engine's burning. If you're one of those go the extra mile people, you can check the gap on your spark plug too. The spark plug gap checking tool came with your Honda toolkit. Put a few small blobs of dielectric grease on the porcelain end of the spark plug and rub it around with your finger to coat it. Since two different types of metal are coming into contact, and since we want to remove these spark plugs at some point in the future, we're going to use the anti-seize lubricant on the threads. Spread it around with your finger and make sure to keep it off of the end of the spark plug, where the actual spark takes place. Drop the spark plug down into your spark plug wrench, 
and carefully feed it back down into the hole. Once you've reached the bottom of the hole, gently turn the spark plug wrench until you feel the threads going down in. Don't force the spark plug or try and turn it when it's difficult. It should go down very easily with little resistance. Once you've reached the end of hand tightening, put the open-ended wrench on and give it about a half turn. There's no need to over tighten the spark plug. The appropriate torque setting can be found in your manual. Before I put my spark plug wires back on, I give them a quick cleaning with a wet rag. And then push them down over the top of the spark plug. You should feel it click as it seats properly. I found the front spark plugs a little more challenging, but really not that difficult. Remove the spark plug wire first, blow it out with compressed air. Now gently feed the spark plug wrench down in until you can feel it seat on top of the spark plug. This is a tight space and the angle is a little strange, but you'll figure it out pretty quick. And then removal is the same. This wasn't as hard as I was expecting. Step one, remove the spark plug wire. Step two, Dust Destroyer. Step three, put the spark plug wrench over the top of the spark plug gently. This can be just a little more complicated on the front two spark plugs, but nothing you can't handle. Step three, turn the spark plug wrench. Here I'm using a pair of vice grips. This one was a little tight. I think the mechanic was overcompensating for something. Step four, put dielectric grease on the ceramic end of the spark plug and anti-seize lubricant on the threaded end of the spark plug. Step five, put the new spark plug down into the spark plug wrench carefully. Lower the spark plug wrench down into the hole and gently thread it back down in. Put the spark plug wire back down over the top of the spark plug and you're done.